Here we are, the lava tubes. Great, let's get started. Uh, I don't see any lava. That's because it's all underground. The hot lava flows under the seabed. When it dries, it makes caves like these. They're called lava tubes. Inside, it can get very hot. How hot? That's what we're going to find out. Shellington. We'll use these special thermometers to see how hot they are. But going inside a lava tube can be dangerous. So we'll check from the outside, like this. Oh, this one's very, very hot. Fascinating. I've used a thermometer lots of times to take sick creatures' temperatures. This shouldn't be too hard. Just be careful, everyone, and watch out for loose boulders and steam vents. easier if I were bigger and faster. Hey, buddy, you all right? Um, who said that? I did, down here. Huh? Uh, ooh. The name's Frank. What's yours? Um, Peso? Peso? We heard you shout. Is everything all right? I, I'm fine, but I found a rock, and its name is Frank. I think the heat might be getting to him, Captain. Hiya, fellas. I'm Frank. Oh! <gasps> But how? Aha! Uh -huh. Fascinating. Well, what do you see? Frank isn't a rock. He's a water bear. How you doing? Water bears are tiny creatures that live all over the world. That's right. Oceans, forests, snowy mountains. We live everywhere. My Uncle Gary even went into outer space. But you're so small. We may be small, but we're tough. You gotta be tough to live around here. With all the lava tubes and big rocks and sleep bags. Frank! The lava tube! Huh? What? Yeah. Time to sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the HQ! <laughs> Octonauts, a teeny tiny water bear has fallen into a hot lava tube and we've got to get him out. Captain, exploring lava tubes is extremely dangerous. You never know when one might suddenly erupt. Then we'll need some way to look inside and see what we're dealing with. Dashy? Already on it, Captain. This rover cam will show us the inside of the lava tube. Looks hot. I just hope Frank is all right in there. Dashy, over there. It's Frank's rock. Can you pick it up, Dashy? I'll try. Easy, easy. The heat must be damaging the rover cam, but I almost have it. Oh. Lost it. Oh, no. <gasps> it's too hot in there. Then we'll just have to go in and find Frank ourselves. You can't just swim into a lava tube. It's as hot as an oven in there. That's why I brought these. These proof diving suits. These will protect you from the heat. And the octo goggles will help you see Frank. If we follow the rover cam's cable, it should lead us to Frank's rock. Oh. <gasps> That doesn't sound good. Captain, there's a lot of unusual lava movement beneath the cave. It could erupt at any moment. You better find Frank quickly. Oh, uh oh, get down! Oh, I thought the whole cave was going to collapse. I can't see. Look, the rover cat is right here in front of us. Uh, Quasi. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> These octo goggles really do make things look bigger. Look, there's Frank's rock. Frank! He's not there. Oh, no. Hey, so, buddy, over here! Frank, are you all right? We're here to rescue you. Hey, it's pretty great down here, ain't it? I met a lot of nice folks. There's Joe. Hi there. And Eddie. How you doing? And Laverne. Hello. And, and that's old Pops. Oh, uh, howdy. You mean water bears can actually live down here? We sure yep. can. <laughs> but don't you little mateys get hot? I told you we was tough. A little heat don't bother us. Captain, the lava tube is about to erupt. We're on our way out, Dashy. You water bears should come with us. No, we're good. We don't mind the heat. Yeah, we like it hot. Harder the better. Oh, we're happy where we are. But the whole cave is about to fill up with lava. No problem. We'll be just fine. Hold on, did you say lava? Ah. Run for your lives! Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Our little legs don't go so fast. Here. Hop on. Don't mind if I do. I'll follow the fence. Oh, I stay out. Is it just me? Or is it getting hotter in here? Yeah. Lava, we have to hurry. This would be a lot easier if I were bigger and faster. Come on, Hazo. My Uncle Gary always says it doesn't matter how big or fast you are, you just gotta be tough. How can you be sleepy at a time like this? When water bears get really hot, we go to sleep until it's safe to wake up. You see what I mean? Just a little bit further. Look out! Whoa! Everybody okay? I think so. Water bears? Uh, yeah, uh, we're good. Are you okay? Never yeah, better. Break me when it cools down. Good. Now let's move. Wait, where's Frank? Uh, he was just here. Yo, Frankie! Frank, where are you? He must have fallen off. He's not here. But that means he's somewhere back there. On the other side of those rocks. We can't leave him behind. Don't worry, Peso. We'll find a way to get through that rock pile. But we'll have to hurry. Allow me, Captain. <laughs> Your turn. <clears throat> See the other side. <laughs> One of you will have to swim through. That tunnel's too small for me. But it's just the right size for me. <laughs> it's all up to you, Peso. I'm coming for you, Frank. <sighs> Frank, where are you? He could be anywhere. Frank, is that you? Frank! Oh, thank goodness! Flappity flippers! Peso, hurry! Are we going for a ride? Gotcha, Maisie! Let's go! Octonauts, keep going! Made it! Yeah. Ah. It was a close one. <sighs> hey, we're outside. What did I miss? Everybody made it out of the lava tube safe and sound. You said it, and it's all thanks to Peso. Peso, way to go! I know you had it in you, buddy. I may not be the biggest or the fastest, but I'm still tough. He sure is. You're even is. tougher than my uncle Gary. Okay. Yeah, the toughest penguin I ever saw. That's our buddy. What's our position, Dashie? Just approaching the eastern coast of Australia, Captain. Australia? 
Offered a tale or two about the strange beasties that live there, me hearties. Actually, Quaz is right. Many of the creatures in Australia are found nowhere else in the world. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. <laughs> 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 Is everyone okay? I'm fine. Oh, okay, Captain. Yes, I think so. Aye, aye, Captain. Just practicing my tumbles. Dashie, what just happened? Well, we were passing this river, Captain. There's been a lot of rain in this area, and all the extra water caused the river to flood. It's gushing out here into the ocean much faster than usual. And it's sweeping the river creatures out with it. <laughs> Looks like they need our help. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, the river here has flooded. We've got to head upstream and help any creatures who may be in trouble. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, into the cafe. First, we have to rescue the river creatures that have been swept out to sea. Quasi, activate Fishback. <laughs> now let's take them back home. This river's flowing fast. Looks like the flooding caused a lot of damage. There must be more creatures out there who need our help. Octonaut, let's do this. Well done, Octonauts. Everything looks back to normal. Let's head home before it gets too dark. I'll be right there, Captain. It looks like part of the riverbank has collapsed. I just want to make sure no creatures were hurt. All right, Shellington. Captain, Quasi's found something. Feast your eyes on this. Hmm, an egg. It was just sitting there, all alone on the riverbed, Captain. We'd better get it back to where it belongs. But where's that? Ah, the shell is hard and thick. This egg was laid on land. We should show it to, um... Ah! Shellington! Shellington, where are you? Over here, Captain! Ow! Oh, it stung my leg. What? What stung your leg? One of them! There they are. Don't let them get away. <laughs> We're under attack! Quick, everyone back to the car. No! Oh. Yeah! out there, Shellington. Two creatures came out of nowhere, and one of them stung me in the leg. Oh, what were those things? They had bills and claws and... <gasps> Hold on. I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. It's a pair of duck-faced river monsters. A pair of duck-faced what? Now, Quasi... It is a strange, slippery beast that's said to lurk in Australian rivers just like this one. It's made up of parts from different creatures. A bill like a duck, fur like a bear, webbed paws like an otter, claws like a cat, a tail like a beaver, and worst of all, a sharp, spiny stinger like a giant bumblebee. This here sting is the work of the duck-faced river monster. So. Whatever it was that stung you, it was serious. How are you feeling, mm. Shellington? Uh, not too good, Captain. Don't worry, Shellington. I'm sure I can make you better. I just need my medical bag. Captain, I must have dropped it. It's out there. With the duck-faced river monsters. Peso, you stay in the gap and look after Shellington as best you can. Quasi, you and I are going out there to find Peso's medical bag. Oh, I almost forgot. We'll find out who this egg belongs to and return it just as soon as we take care of Shellington. 
Good luck out there. Hurry. Oh. Uh, oh. No sign of the creatures yet. No sign of Peso's medical bag either. It could be anywhere in this murky muck. Oh. Looks like we've got company. Quasi. You keep them distracted while I search the riverbed. Ready? Ready, Captain. Then let's do this. Hey, you duck faced furball! Over here! I'm not scared of you, whatever you are! Ah, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. I did it, Captain! Oh! Whoa! I led those monsters on a wild goose chase! They'll never find us now! Hmm. This time, Quasi, you look for the bag and I'll lead the creatures away. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey! Up here! That's it! <laughs> here I am! What's taking the Captain and Quasi so long? Don't worry, Shellington. They'll be back soon. I hope. Ah! Lappity flippers! The egg's hatching! Wow! <laughs> Shiver me, whiskers! Peso's bag! <laughs> Look out, Quasi! Quasi, this way! Shellington, look! Oh, fascinating. A bill. A furry tail. A webbed claw. It's a duck-faced river monster. And it's really cute. Oh, jumping jellyfish. That's no monster. It's a baby platypus. A platypus? Uh, platypuses are river creatures that lay eggs. They only live here in Australia. Then those creatures outside must be platypuses too. That's right. And platypus fathers have stingers on their back legs. No wonder he stung me. They want their baby back. I'd better get it back to them before anyone else gets hurt. Careful on that leg, Shellington. I'll be right back. Ah, how do they keep finding us in the dark? We're trapped. Huh? <laughs> We've got you right where we want. Now hand it over. Um, excuse me? And what over? Not gonna cooperate, huh? All right then. Get ready to feel the sting. Stop! Look. <laughs> our baby! He's got your bill. <laughs> and your tail. A baby duck-faced monster? It's not a duck-faced monster. It's a duck-billed platypus. It hatched from that egg you found. Our egg must have rolled into the river during the flood. We were looking everywhere for it. We're very sorry, platypuses. We didn't know the egg was yours. We were going to try and find out where it came from, but then our friend Shellington, well... All oh, right, yeah. Sorry for the sting. I, I was just protecting my family and I got a little bit, uh, stingy. I completely understand, but I've got to find my medical bag so I can help Shellington. Aye, it's somewhere down in the muck. Perhaps I can make up for what I did to your mate and find that for you. I'll be right back. But how will he be able to find my bag in the dark? We platypuses don't mind the dark. Because we swim with our eyes closed anyway. We find our way around underwater using our special bill. It tells us where things are. Aha! My medical bag! Thank you so much! Oh, thanks, Peso. It's feeling better already. Don't worry, the pain from my stinger should wear off soon. Sorry again, mate. And thanks for keeping our little ones safe. Oh, not to worry. It's not every day I get to meet a family of furry, web-footed, stinging, egg-laying, beaver-tailed, duck-billed platypi. Oh, ah, you're standing on my foot. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Good work, Tweak. 
The rover cam is working perfectly. Now we can send it in to film the sea creatures living in all that seaweed. I wouldn't send anything in there if I were you, matey. Or you may never see it again. Things disappear in this part of the ocean. That's why we pirates call it the Sea of Vanishing Ships. They say it's the sea monsters that made them disappear. Slimy monsters of seaweed with long stringy fingers who like to take what's not theirs. Yow! See what I mean? Oh, that's no monster. It's a loggerhead sea turtle. They're great navigators, so they can find their way through anything. Tweak, can you follow it with the rover cam? You got it, Shellington. Ooh, where did he go? Looks like it's the sea of vanishing ships and sea turtles, too. Shaking. I'm picking up some underwater tremors. We've lost contact, Cap. Now it's the sea of vanishing rover cams. The rover cam hasn't vanished, Quasi, but the shaking must have damaged it. We gotta find it, Cap. I'm going in. You're not going in alone, Tweak. Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going into that seaweedy mess to find Tweak's rover cam. The driving could get tricky in there. We'll take the Gup X. You got it, Cap. Tweak, Peso, and Quasi, you're with me. We'll be the first to go into the sea of vanishing ships and come back out again. If we're lucky. Shiver, whiskers, tis a jungle out there. I hope it's not the sea of vanishing octonauts. Don't worry, Peso. We won't get lost in here. With the Gulf X's mapping system, we can always find our way back to the octopod. This is where we lost contact with the rover camp. Any sign of it, Tweak? Nope, nothing yet, Cap. <gasps> There's that sea turtle again. The rover cam was following him when it broke. Let's ask if he's seen it. Yeah, he disappeared again. Over there. Let's try and catch up with him. There he goes. Here he goes. and Quasi. Tweak to Captain Barnacles. Come in. Cap? Quasi? Oh, it's no use. The radio's broken, too. Tweak? Peso? Are you all right? Mm, we've lost contact with the rest of the Gup X. You mean it's vanished? No, it's out there. We just need to find it. But first, we need to get the glider moving. Let's go out and check on the damage. <laughs> First things first, Peso. I gotta fix the Gup Connector. Gup Connector? I designed the Gup X so the different sections would always be able to find each other. Once the Gup Connector is working, it'll pull all the other parts of the Gup X back together. Along with the Captain and Quasi. That's right. Now, can you hand me a number nine spanner? Of course. <laughs> Lost its slimy seaweed. <laughs> We'll have to pull it out. Who said that? I knew it. This sea is full of ghosts. I thought you said it was full of sea monsters. That too? Oh, dear. Whatever you be, you'd best be gone. 
I can't. Huh? I'm stuck. Very possibly forever. Oh! Ah, <gasps> like a head sea turtle. The name's Lenny, and my shell is hard enough to protect me for now, but this thing's getting really heavy. Don't worry, Lenny. We are the Octonauts, and we'll get you out safely. You may want to pull your head and flippers into your shell just to be safe. Oh, wish I could. We loggerhead sea turtles can't hide inside our shells. Our heads and flippers are too big. Then we'll have to be extra careful. Come on, Quasi. One, two, three, left! Left! I'll have this gub connector fixed faster and you can see a bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Number two spanner, please. Number five screwdriver. Number three carrot. Ooh. What's that? The slimy seaweed monster, just like in Quasi's story. Hold on, that's not a monster. It's our rover cam. I'll be right back, Tweak. A week? Nah, it won't take a week. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. Come back here, you! Ah, that should do it. The gub connector's working, Peso. I'll have the gub eggs back together in no time. Huh? Peso? Yeah, got you! Uh-oh. Tweak! Come in, Tweak! Can you hear me? One more time, Quasi. One, two, three... Oh, dear. It's hopeless. This ship isn't going anywhere. And neither am I. We're not giving up, Lenny. Yow! The gub's moving all by itself! Tweak must have repaired the gub connector. If we follow the glider, we'll find our way back. Lenny, are you all right? I suppose so, thanks to my extra hard shell. <laughs> Ow! Oh, my flipper! It hurts from being wedged in those rocks. I can't swim in this condition. You'll just have to leave me here, I suppose. Oh, dear, dear, dear. You need to see our medic, Peso. Come on, we'll carry you. Hello, Tweak. Hello. Where are you? Whoa! Flappity flippers, the octo ski. Tweak fixed the gub connector. Wait for us. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, so you found my rover cam. Thanks. You're welcome. And there's the rest of the gub eggs, right on schedule. Look, it's Captain Barnacles and Quasi. And the Luggerhead Sea Turtle is with them. Oh, no. He's hurt. This flipper splint should do the trick. Oh, it feels much better. Thanks. I guess things are looking up after all. Lenny's on the mend, the rover cam is back, and the Gup X is all in one piece. Now, we just have to find our way back to the Octopod. Um, Cap, I fixed up the gub connector, but I'm afraid the mapping system still doesn't work. How will we find our way out of here? Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll spend the rest of our days lost in the sea of vanishing ships. Lost? Oh, I'll never get lost. We loggerheads have a great sense of direction. I travel in and out of here all the time. You don't get confused in all this murky seaweed? Not a bit. <laughs> and now that you've fixed my flipper, I'm ready to swim. Then lead the way, Lenny. Don't mind if I do. Incredible! You've led us straight back to the octopod. Thanks, Lenny. Aye, Lenny. You're a... He vanished. Boo! Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Be 
ready to go, Tweak? Yep. I've put in an eject button just like you wanted, Quasi. It'll help you escape from the gup in an emergency. No! Press this, and you'll be bounced out of the gup beef faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Thanks, Tweak. Time to take a ride and test out the new button. Ow! Now, hold on. You need to know how to work this thing. I press the button, I get bounced out of the gut. Easy. First, you turn off the engine, then you press the button. Hi, hi, me hearty. Now open the octo hatch. If you don't turn off the engine first, the gut bee will drive away without you. Got it. Now let's go. You forgot, didn't you? Forgot? No! Um, forgot what? All right, all right. I forgot to turn off the engine before I pushed the eject button. And now I've lost my favourite gup. Captain, there's no time to lose. We've got to find it. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonaut to the HQ. Octonauts, the gut B is lost. And I'm the one who lost her, me hearties. The first thing to do is to work out where to look for her. Dashi, check the gut finder. It should show us where the gut B is. I'm already on it, Captain. <gasps> there she is! But it looks like it's stuck in the middle of something very large. Shellington, we may need you to help us figure out what this thing is. Tweak, we'll need the Gup C right away. To the launch bay. Almost ready, Cap. I can hardly wait to see the Gup B again, me hearties. Look, I found some pictures I took of you in the Gup B. I painted those shark teeth on her myself. We've won races together and made thrilling escapes together. <sighs> There's just no other gut like the gut bee, mateys. Don't worry, we'll get her back. This shouldn't take long. Is the gut sea ready, Tweak? Ah, ready, Cap. Yow! Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Captain, it looks like we're getting close to the gut B. Towing her back home should be an easy job. Aye, no trouble at all. Look at that! Jumping jellyfish! It's a giant kelp forest! Hmm, the gup finder shows that the gup bee must be somewhere inside the kelp forest. We'll have to go in and look for her. Quasi, you go... Oh. Quasi? Oh. Let's go, Shellington. <laughs> Amazing. Giant kelp is the tallest plant under the sea. It stretches up and up so the kelp leaves can reach the sun. 
Just like a forest on land, a kelp forest is a home for lots of different creatures. It won't be easy to find the gup bee in a kelp forest this big. But according to the gup finder, we're close. This way! Whoa! Watch out! There's a big orange shark in the forest! Orange shark? Hold on! That must be the gup bee! Come back here! What did you say about seeing a big orange shark? I saw it zoom into the forest, that's all. And this is my hiding place, so go away. Is this what you saw, matey? <gasps> yes. Oh, I can't look. Those big teeth make me nervous. Aye, matey, but they aren't real teeth. I painted them. Look. <laughs> stand back or else. Uh, Quasi, you better stand back because... Because what? <gasps> <laughs> Uh, he's called a swell shark. When he feels threatened, he swallows enough water to swell up like a balloon, and then... Yes, I know what happens then, Shellington. Look, now we're even closer to the gut bee. I'm coming for you, gut bee! Yeah. Hey, what's happening, guys? A shovel-nosed guitar fish. Oh, no. Does this one spit as well? No. He mostly hides under the sand. I knew that. We're looking for our lost gup. It's called the gup bee, and it's bright orange. Have you seen it? <clears throat> our gup finder shows that it should be right around here, but we can't find it. Hmm. I don't know about any gup, but when you feel down, it helps to look up. Oh, the scurvy creatures in this place are no help at all. We'll never find it. It helps to look up. <gasps> Wait, we do need to look up. Captain, a kelp forest is like a tall building with many floors. Ah, and so far, we've only looked for the gut bee down here. But it could be somewhere up there. Octonauts, let's go. The gup finder shows that the gup bee should be right here. Then why can't we see it? Where could it be? You! Yeah, you! <laughs> here, over here. Who said that? Up here! <laughs> Up where? Right here, silly! <laughs> where? Captain, the kelp leaves are talking to me. Kelp leaves? Talking? They say that the gut bee's right here. Oh, but where? Look, there's nothing here but kelp. <laughs> it's... it's... The gut bee! Yeah! Did you miss me? Aha! I missed you too. We told you it was right in front of you. You're not a kelp leaf. I'm a kelp fish. We're all kelp fish. <laughs> <laughs> they do look just like leaves of kelp. That makes it easy for us to hide whenever we want in the kelp forest. Come along now. Playtime is over. Hi, Mum. We really fooled them. <laughs> they thought we were kelp leaves. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, children. Octonaut, let's get the gut bee out of this forest. Yow! Aye, aye, Captain! <sighs> it's good to be back in my favourite gut. You just put your feet up, Quasi, but not on the eject button. <laughs> yeah, very funny. <laughs> the sucker on your bin is healing nicely, Nora. Now let's see if you can use it to stick to something. I hope it's working. I have to be able to stick to bigger fish. That's how I hit rides all over the ocean. 
Hmm. Now, what can we practice on? Oh, I know. Oh, <laughs> you've definitely got the sticking part sorted. Now let's practice the unsticking part. I, I'm trying, but oh, I can't. Don't worry, I'll help. <laughs> Nora has vanished. And I'm afraid there's no sign of her on the fish tracker. We need to find her, Captain. She could be stuck to something dangerous and not be able to get unstuck. Don't worry, Pacer. We'll find her. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> find this missing fish. She's a remora who goes by the name of Nora. Nora the remora, eh? She was last seen by Peso near this trench. And then she disappeared without a trace. So, we've got a little fish who's disappeared in a big ocean. What other clues do we have, matey? No other clues, but the sucker on her fin is hurt. The longer she's out there, the more danger she's in. Kip, what about... Agreed. I've never seen that before. We've never had to use it before. You think he'll get the signal, Cap? He'll get the signal. Who'll get what signal? I don't hear anything. Hold on, Quasi. I expect he'll be here in five, four, three, two, one. Harry the Harbour Seal, at your service. Oh. Oh. Octonauts, meet my old friend and ace detective, Harry. Thanks for coming, Harry. After all the times you've saved my sealskin barnacles, I owe you one, <laughs> or two. Peso, why don't you tell Harry about our case? Oh, right. Well, let's see. Wait, let me guess. What we've got here is a case of a missing fish. A patient of yours, perhaps. How? Did I know that? <laughs> Swimming towards the octopod, I found this thread. Special type only used to make bandages. So I figure you must be a medic. I am. Yes, I can tell your heart's beating fast, so I guess you're worried, which means this patient of yours is in trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, you contacted me. So obviously, they're lost or missing. <laughs> well, you're good. I always find my fish. The fish we're looking for is a remora. Named Nora. But I'm afraid we don't have any good clues for you. Oh, Harry can find clues that the rest of us can't. It's all in our whiskers. That's because harbour seals' whiskers are so sensitive, they can detect the slightest ripple in the water made by any fish. And track it for a hundred miles. Wow! Now then, how about you take me to the last place you saw Nora the remora? <laughs> This is the spot. My whiskers are picking up a uh, big fish, fast moving, passed right by here. And now I detect a little ripple from a little fish. That's probably Nora. The big fish and the little fish moved on together from here. Can you tell which way they went, Harry? According to my whiskers, they went this way. Follow me, chaps. Yes, there's definitely a big fish and a little fish in there. Let's take a look. It's a big fish and little fish, all right. But it's not Nora. It's a cleaning wrasse and a shark. Hey, big guy, you want cleaning? You must wait until I'm finished as shark. Yeah, take a swim, Harbour Seal. <gasps> Come on, Harry. Oh, this won't take long. Uh, yes, excuse me, we're looking for a missing fish and we'd like to ask you a couple of questions. I don't like questions. Hey, please, the shark, he needs to relax. Yes, yes, but I'm just wondering if you've seen... Oh! Hey, 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 hey! Come back, shark, I need to clean your teeth. We'd better stop that shark before it takes a bite out of Harry. Easy now, 
Don't jump, my friend. I'll take it from here. Now, don't move till I'm finished cleaning your teeth. You must relax. <laughs> Everyone all right? Ha! Thanks for saving my sealskin barnacles. But it's a good thing that shark chase is over here, or I might have missed this. My whiskers are detecting more ripples. I'd say these ripples were made by a big fish and a little fish. Excellent, my dear Peso. And the trail leads us to... A little hole in the sand. Exactly. This little hole was made by a big fish with a pointy nose. Now I'm starting to get the picture. The big fish with a pointy nose takes a dive down towards the sea floor, but he's not alone. Somewhere along the way, he picks up a little fish. Now we've got a little fish stuck to a big fish with his nose stuck in the sand. The big fish breaks free, but the little fish is still stuck to him. And they both went that away. Better follow them before the trail goes cold. Peso, go with Harry. We'll catch up in the guppe. Remember, we're on the lookout for a big pointy-nosed fish. With Nora attached. Yeah, they definitely came this way. We're close, Peso. Very close. Oh. Oh. Are you all right? Fine. Just running out of air. Harbor seals have to go up to breathe every 30 minutes. Hold on, I'll just grab a quick breath. Uh. Oh. Oh. oh no, snapping shrimp! Oh. Yeah. What was that? Let's make sure Peso and Harry are all right. Snapping shrimp. They make those loud snaps to defend themselves. Shiver me whiskers! They've knocked out Harry and Peso! Attention, snapping shrimp! We are the Octonauts, and we're not out to harm you. Would you please stop snapping so we can help our friends? Oh, sorry. We always snap first, ask questions later, you know. All right, everybody, stop snapping. Are you all right, Peso? Oh, I'm fine, but where's Harry? He was knocked out by those snapping shrimp, just like you. Oh, no. He's okay, but he needs air right away. Captain, we need to get him up to the surface to breathe. Understood. Peso, you pull. Quasi, we'll push. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel ready to solve this case. <laughs> Come on, chaps. <laughs> okay, Peso, we've got to follow these ripples. Aha! There's our big fish with a pointy nose. That's a sailfish, but where's... Nora! Peso! Let's go! He's fast, but we're catching up, mateys. Oh, I can't get unstuck! Don't worry, we're coming for you. Catch me if you can. Whoa! He's making a getaway! Flappity flippers, he can leap into the air. He's not the only one who can leap into the air. Peso, on my back. I'll leap, you grab. <laughs> Ready? Ready. There they are. <laughs> Can't get unstuck. Oh. We're coming, Nora. We're gaining on them. Oh. Can't reach. To do this on the fly. Yeah. Ah. Gotcha! We've got our fish. Whoa. And our penguin, too. <laughs> Just a few more days in the sick bay, and you'll be good as new, Nora. But we do need to bandage that hurt sucker. <laughs> Well, it looks like this case is all wrapped up. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Bye. 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 Attention, creatures. The ocean current is extra strong today, so please be careful and find a safe place to go. Do you need 
need some help getting to safety? No, I'm moving. Should be there by Thursday. Here, let me help you. Oh, I'm early. Thanks, Octonauts. Ahoy, friend! Did you hear the warning? Can't understand you, matey. Why are you talking like that? All I heard was yaddy daddy baddy bay. Can you speak a bit slower, please? I said I'm Jimmy the Jarfish, and I'm going home to my burrow, which is right there, and my mouth is full of eggs! Oh, I dropped my eggs! That's Jerry. And Jojo. Oh, and little Janie. Look, just like a mother. Go. Here, get this one. Last one. The current! Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. The current swept his eggs away. Don't worry, we'll find your eggs. Every last one of them. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, the current has carried away ten of the jawfish's eggs. Our mission is to find them and return them to their father's mouth. Mouth? Why would anybody keep eggs in their mouth? Jawfish dads are mouth brooders, Tweak, which means that they protect their eggs by keeping them in their mouths until they hatch. See? The ocean can be a very dangerous place for a tiny egg. There are a lot of fish who might like to eat them. Then we'll have to find the eggs right away. Dashi, can you track the path of the current? Activating current tracker. The current has traveled along these cliffs, over these geysers, and through this rocky trench. Then that's where we'll find the eggs. Here's the plan. Shellington, you stay with the jawfish at his burrow. Yes, Captain. Dashi, you stay here and keep track of the current. Quasi, Peso and I will split up and search for the eggs. <gasps> I can move, I can move. Yes, Tunip, you can help look for the eggs too. <laughs> Tweak, those eggs are small and delicate. We'll need... Something to collect them in? I've got just the thing, Cap. Egg vacs! These will suck the eggs right up and keep them safe until you get them back to the jawfish. I also changed your air tanks into special booster packs. Just press this button and you'll get a boost of speed to help you swim against the current. Good work. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Peso, you search along the cliffs. Got it. And Quasi, you search by the geezers. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll search the rocky trench. Octonauts, let's do this. Hmm. These are the cliffs. And that is an egg. There you are, nice and safe. Oh, cute egg. Kind of looks like that one. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Oh, that was easy. Any others around? There's one. That manta ray is eating everything in sight. Activating booster pack. Easy peso. Flippers down. Lead with the beak. Got it! Sorry, Manta Ray. You'll have to snack on something else. That's not very nice. Let's get you back to your dad. You found an egg, Tunip. Let's see. Oh, Tunip, that's a pebble. Keep trying. Here you go. Three eggs, safe and sound. I think he said that's Joseph, Josephine and Judith. <laughs> Captain, three eggs have been returned safely to the jawfish's mouth. Well done. Thanks, Shellington. One, two, three, seven more to go. Captain, I've reached the geezers. Whoa! Mateys. <laughs> Captain, I've rescued two eggs. Good work, Quasi. And I'm about to snag a third. Oh, you're 
You're a cute little nipper. Oh, yes, you are. Special egg delivery. Say, ah. Uh... Uh... Turnip, did you find one this time? Come on. Oh, no, that's a seashell. Oh. Captain, we found three more eggs. And I found two. That's eight altogether. I'll keep searching for the other two, but the current has loosened up the rocks. Whoa! So it might get tricky. Oh, close. Whoa! Nearly. Whoa! Bingo! Time to take you home. Three more eggs, safe and sound. Oh, uh -huh. Nine down, still one to go. Uh, it's Jimmy Junior, named after his father. A brave little egg with a sense of adventure. He's out there somewhere. Dashy, come in. Yes, Captain. We've searched the cliffs, the geezers, and the trench, but there's still one egg missing. His name is Jimmy Junior. The last egg could still be caught up in the current, which has moved past the rocky trench and is heading into open water. Thanks, Dashy. Quasi, Peso, if we don't find that egg soon, it could be lost for good. Let's move. Jimmy Junior, up ahead. Activate egg backs. Too strong for the egg fax. We'll have to do this the old fashioned way. Hold this. <laughs> Whoa, slippery. Get it. I got it. Look. Now I've got you. Yeah. Lemon sharks. I can handle this one, Captain. Uh, careful, Quasi. You can't let them notice you. Swim under the sharks as quietly as possible. Aye, aye, Captain. Yeah! Hey, that looks like a nice snack, man. Hey, so take Jimmy Jr. <laughs> Snack time, man. Yeah, enjoy. Quasi, what did you do? Don't worry, Jimmy Junior is safe and sound. Phew. Hey, it's empty. Let's get him. See you later, Shockies. We proudly return with the one and only. Jimmy Junior! <laughs> oh no, I will be done! I, I had him in my paw. I, he must have slipped out somewhere. I, I... That's seaweed. <laughs> That's a clam. <laughs> That's an egg. <laughs> That's an egg! Junip, you found Jimmy Junior! Who's <laughs> 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 Ah, We found all ten. Great job, Octo. Shellington, what did he say? He said, my eggs are hatching. Hooray! Oh, wow, look! Yeah. You're a little daredevil, aren't you? That's Jimmy Junior. A chip off the old block. Wow, oh, look at my baby. I love every single one of you. Oh, we're going to need a bigger home. Uh, what is he doing? I think he said he's digging out his burrow with his mouth. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. Ha, 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 ha! 
Captain, there's outside. I saw a. What's all the commotion about? There's something out there. Something big. Really big. I saw it. It's huge. It's white. And it made a noise like. Captain, look at this. I managed to snap a picture of whatever's out there. That's it. That's what I saw. What on earth could it be? It's as big as a whale, but whales are usually dark greyish. Hi, me hearties. <gasps> That's no ordinary whale. That there be a ghost whale. Ghost whale? Aye, it's a crafty beast, as pale and cold as the moonlight. It rises from the depths at night and plays tricks on passing ships. Whatever it is, it sounds sad. It may be hurt. Or need our help. We're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Tweak. If there's something out there, these'll help you find it in the dark. Whoa! One peek through these ghost goggles, and you'll be able to see the heat coming from its body. Ghost goggles? Shiver me whiskers. Ready, Peso? Let's go. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap! Scallywag must be around here somewhere. This way. A vast, strange heat patterns are coming from that pink-colored reef. Whatever we're looking for, it should be right here. Then we better take a look. Octonauts, let's investigate. There's something very strange about this reef. Captain, look at this. It's white underneath. Hmm. Let me try that. <laughs> this is no reef. Some kind of trick. Come here, you. Steady on, Quasi. We still don't know what we're dealing with here. It's coming back. What? Haven't you ever seen a whale with a sunburn before? This may be another ghost trick. Or this may not be a ghost at all. Ghost? Who are you calling a ghost? I'm a humpback whale. I just happen to be completely white. Nice try, but you're pink. I've got sunburn on my back and it doesn't feel very good to have you lot climbing all over it. Ouch, that must really hurt. Ah, oh, well, it's my own fault. Yesterday I spent too much time near the surface and got this nasty burn from the sun. With a burn like that, you should stay down here at the bottom, out of the sun. I'd like to, but uh, I can't hold my breath forever. I have to go up for air every 15 minutes. The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Uh, Peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're gonna need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. 
It's made from water, sea slime, mushroom coral mucus. Mushroom coral! That's it! What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. We're going to need some gup backup here. You got it, Cap. Which gup do you need? All of them. Octonauts, let's pick up the pace. We've got to get this whale to the coral before sunrise. Hang on, big guy. We're almost there. We should find some mushroom corals in the shallow water up ahead. Truly amazing. An albino humpback whale. Albino? Every now and then, a whale will be born that's completely white. An albino. It's a very rare sight indeed. Listen, mate, I can't stay under forever. How about taking me up for some air? Captain, the whale needs to take a breath. Got it. Quasi, you copy? I copy, Captain. Watch that fin. Tweak, are you there? Right here, Cap. We've got to bring our friend here up for air. Get ready to surface. Octonauts, let's do this. We have to hurry. The sun will be coming up any minute now. Ahoy! Mushroom coral! Straight ahead! Uh-oh! Looks like we've got company. A school of squid! We'll go around them! At this speed, we can't turn fast enough to go around them! What should we do, Captain? An emergency drop. I don't think I like the sound of this. Those coral are our target. On the count of three. One. Two, three! Hey! Uh, nice driving back there. Excellent work, Octonauts. But we've still got a lot more work to do. We're not hurting the coral, are we? Mushroom corals are tough and aren't attached to anything. They don't mind being moved around a bit. Just a bit more, and finished. Ha! Huh, a coral that makes sun cream. I never knew there was such a thing. Oh, I never knew there was such a thing as a white and pink whale. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I think I feel it's working already. Uh, good on you, mates. Just be careful not to spend too much time in the sun. Let's take a photo. Wait. <laughs> Oi! Watch the sunburn, mate. Oops. <laughs> Perfect! I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 